Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Kevin Tech here, bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to do something a little weird, or a little different. Today I want to add a Mac machine to the domain. So I want to add a Mac machine to a 2016 domain. I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm going to show you how it shows up on, on, uh, on Active Directory or on, tw on Server 2016. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, I do IT videos, I do desktop support videos, I talk about how to get into IT. I also do um, live training as well. So we do live training, like hands-on training on Saturday. So as always, rate, comment, su subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you know when I go live, all right? So let me share my screen with you real quick, and I'm going to show you what I'm, what I'm working on. So let's see. So this is screen one. You should see it, hopefully. I have my Mac right over here. So I, I already added it to the right IP address and the right domain. I'm going to show you what I did in order to get it to work. So basically, I went into... Um, system preferences so that you have the apple logo so you know how you have the star menu in the bottom right here we have an apple logo so you go to system preferences literally what you got to do is you got to allow firewall first so you got to turn firewall off which is what i did so i went into firewall settings um i clicked on firewall settings then literally what i did was i i, un I did the little lock it's a little laggy for me i unlocked it then after that, I turned off firewall, which is what I did. And I'm going to lock it back. Then I'm going to close out of that. So firewall is closed. So now I, the other thing I need to do is I need to actually um, configure the IP address because obviously it has to match the other computer or the other IP address. Otherwise, you cannot add it to a domain. So what I did was I went back to system preferences. I went into networking. And I, I did a manual static IP address. So mine is 10.1.10.4, 255.0.0.0. I did a manual input. Um, and I did router, I did 10.1.10.1. .1. Then I went to the advanced settings. I went into um, DNS. And my DNS server is 10.1.10.2, 10.1.10.1. And then my D domain is kevtech.local. So, I added all this manually, obviously, and then I went into, because it's virtual box, I went into uh, my networking settings, and I changed it to only host on adapter or only virtual box, because otherwise I'll start getting an IP address automatically, which is not what I wanted to do. After I did all that, I finally went into my terminal, which is like, think of it as the command prompt for, for Mac. Um, I went here and I did ping captech.local and it should ping, which it does ping. So that means I could add this computer to a domain if I wanted to. So how the hell do you do that? How do you do that? Like what, what are the necessary steps? I did most of it, right? So I did firewall, I did, I did the IP address and everything. So let's try adding it to a domain. And it should work, hopefully it works. So literally you go into system preferences, um, you go into users and groups, um, and you do um, the unlock thing. So basically you unlock it, you put your password, I have no password on this. Then you hit the login options. Then you hit join. So now you wanna you wanna add it to a domain. So there's nothing here. So you open the directory utility. Let's give that a second. We're gonna hit unlock. We're gonna modify it. And we're gonna hit add. And then we're gonna see if keptech.local lets you, you know, if it works, keptech.local. And then you hit okay. And it should it should prompt you for something. So we'll see what happens. We'll see, it might, it might, it might freeze, it might lag. I don't know what it's gonna do right now, but it should prompt you for something. So I think I, I think I didn't do anything. So let me do kev tech that will go again. Yeah, hit okay. Modify and then Supposed to add it. I'm not sure if it added it already. So we'll, we'll go back to it again. Uh, let's try again. Kevtap dot local. And hit. I think you hit bind. Yeah, we go hit bind. And then you have to put the network admin password for for your server. So mine is administrator password one two three. It might work. It may not work. So I'll modify. Getting Active Directory information. It's trying to see if it finds the server. So I, I'm obviously I'm on server 2016. Obviously you will not. You won't, it's rare that you see a Mac machine on the domain on the server 2016. 
but it's still good to know. So this is the reason why I'm going over this right now, because I got people asking me the same question over and over again. Kevin, how do you add a, a Mac to a domain? Kevin, how do you add a Mac to 2016? Kevin, how do you add Mac to 2019? I started getting this question over and over again. Like, can you do it? Is that possible? Is that, is that realistic? Is that like being made up? Or is that actually something that you could actually do? And that's something that, you know, that people, people have been asking me like crazy. So, and you don't know. I don't know if it's going to work. I honestly do not know if it's, it's going to work. But this is, this is based on my experience and based on uh, me working in another environment. So I had to add a computer. I had to add a Mac machine to a domain one time, but that was like a long time ago. Um, and we don't do this as much as you will see in the real life scenario. But there are some companies that they are predominantly 75% Mac. And you have to add Mac machines to a domain. And then they, they, have, they have all these other things, you know, set up. So obviously you will, you might, you might encounter this. You might encounter somewhere in your job, you know. So it says kept out the local has a little green check mark. So it says that it's actually added to a domain. So let me, let me see. So how do you know it's added to a domain now? This is the interesting part, right? This is very interesting. So what happens if I were to, what happens if I were to restart this? Like what would happen if I were to restart this? Would it give me a, an error message? What would happen? So let's just restart and see what happens. Let's just, let's just restart. It might, it might give me a problem. It might not give me a problem. We'll see if it, cause this, you gotta re remember that I'm, I'm using a virtual machine. So it's a little different for me and I'm practicing on a VM. So Obviously, in real life scenario, you, you wouldn't see any of these black lines or boxes and stuff like that. But I wanted to add it to a domain, and I wanted to see if it actually does pick it up, and I want to see if it actually shows up as a as a domain on the login page. It may do that. It may not do that. It might just be added to a domain, and that's it. Because on a Mac machine, there is no domain box on it. You could just literally press enter, and it should let you log in. But it should be connected to it should be connected to the domain service, which is captech.local, which I think it is because I'm looking at it right now on my server and I see that it's there. So if you go here, right? And if you go into, this is fine, you can ignore that error message. If you go into um, users and groups again, it should be there. It is there. And how do you confirm that it actually is on the domain? So if you go to your server, I have it right open right here. It says Mac. Kev's iMac. Now to answer everyone's question right there, I put this question to rest. How do you add a computer to a domain? That's how you would do it. Anyway, hopefully this answers your question. Obviously you could put shared drives on this and you could add shared drives on the Mac machine. I could do that. I could create a shared drive here and I'll probably make another video of me doing that. So definitely if you want to see another video of me creating a, a shared drive on a Mac machine, let me know. I'll be more than happy to do that. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And I hope this answers your question on how to add a Mac to a domain. All right. <laughs> anyway, you guys take care and have a great Sunday. Take care. Peace. Later.